first there were the artifacts. They caught our curiosity. They intrigued us. They seemed to be communicating. We studied, we discovered, but we could only theorize about their real purpose, their actual intent. All the while, they were out there watching, organized, observing our interest in them. The Pleiades was their focus. We searched and scoured the system, its belt clusters, planets, and the spaces between, before finally landing to set foot on its moons. Flying and driving for hours at a time, searching canyons and craters by star and by moonlight, mapping the places that we had investigated. Many of us spending days and weeks entirely foregoing the so-called normal activities of the Pilots' Federation. Trading and combat, but a distant memory. Until, at last, new life. Or are they something altogether different? More of these barnacles were found in other systems in the Pleiades, then further afield in other nebulae. But aside from their somewhat useful alloy fruits, just what were they? How did they get there? And where had they originally come from? We chose to make our home just far enough away from the bustle of humanity, out in Verati. Soon establishing our initial forward base at Thompson Dock. It wasn't long before we spread our wings to take on new challenges. And with massive community support, we were able to establish our first research facility in a nearby system. Here, those of us honored enough to call ourselves canon carry out our studies and form our theories. We hope for the good of every man, woman, and child of the galaxy. Hearing rumors of a new mysterious object discovered near the core worlds, some of our pilots headed there. Following every available tip-off for a tenuous lead, organized searches took place of systems, signal sources, and convoys to try and track down this probe. The elusive object was eventually found in a military transport being escorted by heavily armed vessels, and we recovered it for our scientists. Reminiscent of the artifact, Many tests were performed with great care, taking the probe to the artifacts and the barnacles, finding that it too was interested in Merope, and especially Moon 5C. Finally, we carried out our standard ADS test. To our surprise, it came alive. The effect was strong, as was the obvious encoding of a sonic message, and it wasn't long before this was at least partially decoded. But its full meaning still eludes us. The 
cannon continue our search for mystery in the galaxy, with scant concern for politics, origin, or ideology. Exploring together the wonders of the elite dangerous universe. Join us. We have